Good day, lords and ladies, and welcome back to Fear the Awakening with me, Cornish Knight. We had literally just left off. We were just going after some slave traders up here after we harvested some food. Enemy spotted. Collected more wood. Collected more meat. Right, time to break camp. And we'll head off in that direction. We've got enough food to cover us for a little bit. How goes the wood collection here? Feeling that I'm probably going to have to redo stuff. There has been an increase in vermin in your village over the last few days. Yeah. The rodents, but your wise ones tell you they were not healthy. Just as they feared, your men begin to fall ill one by one, and soon the whole village is affected. You have the medic and the herbs. They need to try beat the thing. You don't have the medic, the herbs, but you do have the good medic. Let's your try. Your village medic has their hands full, but thanks to the supply of herbs, they are able to battle the disease with a full arsenal. What was all? The medics did not sleep or eat until every man, woman, and child was tended to. Their vigor. Right here. Everyone leveled up. Health, health, strength, tactics, herbalism, stealth, speech, folklore, stubbornness, leech, shield, folklore, health, 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 and will. Health, gathering, stealth, health, dexterity, health, strength, health, crafting, intelligence, and herbalism. I do have a quick question for people. Would you prefer that I had like literally one of these episodes a day so that we could like, push the story forward a bit quicker? I mean, I'm... The, oh, we had another child from the Cabbage Patch. Um, would you guys prefer that literally for me to have um, one cat like literally one episode of Battle Brothers and one episode of this instead of having it every other day have it every day? Let me leave a comment in the comment section below. You approach the slavers and see they are a mixed group of different peoples. Orcs, humans, goblins, and yeah, yeah, we know it is. Halt! You don't want to take it beating bandits, bandits, orc fighters, and wolves. Keep and play. Put Tom up. First axe and move him up so he'll kill this guy off. We'll go Vladimir and then we'll go counter tactic and get rid of our, some of the wolves. That's not great. Orc warrior, orc fighter, a uh, goblin warrior, orc fighter. Uh, no point. Let's see. Put him up, put cinema up. They're holding off, that's not good. Um, we'll do. Those two down. They're really holding out for something. Let's do counter tactic and get rid of whatever that is. And then we'll go Bob, get closer. Let's see how this goes. Turn mm. one. Mm. Turn two. Posturing and clear confidence made these slavers very uneasy. 
They must have had quite a fight before. Yep, yep, yep. As you realize, they would we take it half and go. Cut off their long chain and I mean, I'm not particularly happy with... I need to figure out what unlocks to get the better outcome for that. I'll run back over here. I want to go down and do this. I also want to do the refugee place of interest. The tower. What the hell is a tower do? I don't know. I can't remember. more of the godwood a bit more stuff I could probably start I'm just thinking is it worth making more complicated meals right break camp head back in here dead roaming about. Quickly jump in here. We're going to reformat everything. So we're going to go new expedition. We want to have a healer, some warriors, a good smattering probably would be good. We need gatherers. And we do need people that can do stuff like clues. what she is. How strange. She has really high crafts but her stuff is... Oh, I'll take her as well as well. Take him. I don't know if I... St uh, do I run around with like two groups? This is the question. If I run around with two groups, there's a risk of losing people. Four warriors. I can't take too many people from here as well, because I need people who can build stuff. Oh, she's only got craft of eight. Take the orc again. That should be okay. Party one. Uh, they need food. More than anything else, they need wood. Wood is enough. Uh, seven food. So let's put in. Let's put in. Uh, I mean, it's not fantastic. They'll cover us when we go and grab supplies somewhere else. Is there anything else you want to take? No. Okay. So here's the expedition group. The, there's the wood. Let's 
Uh, I don't think I've got enough victuals. I need to give some more victuals. That will cover it for a bit more until we're happy with the situation that we find ourselves in. Let's go this way. There's 14 of us in that party. Now that we have that under control, we can do production. Crafting. Uh, cooked meals, perhaps. Don't know. But what I do want to do is I want to make some more heavy armour. Where's the godwood? Actually we can't, because I need to save the godwood for building, don't I? Actually that reminds me. Village overview. If I demolish the herbalist hut... Smithy perhaps? Let's do that. And then production, construction, smithy, and I just realised that I'm out of stone. This is going to be a pain. Okay, this is okay. This is what I get for not checking. Okay. Where are these people? They're over there. So if I run down here quickly... Talk to them. A group of nomads is travelling through these lands. They are a mixed group, made up of all peoples of Easterlands, including men, goblins and orcs. A few of them break away from the group and walk towards you. They are armed, but their weapons are not drawn. However, you do spot some archers eyeing you up as well. The nomads raise their hands and speak. Greetings, fellow travellers. May we speak? Greetings, travellers. Yes, let us talk. We are merely passing by and mean you no harm. Our people have survived together on the journey for many years now, and we do not seek to abandon our path. We are, however, in need of resources, and in exchange, we have goods to offer. We have some food you can barter. Food, yes, we always need food. We do not farm, and hunting is ever a risk. For some food you can spare, we can trade you some good wood and string. You... wonderful. May the journey keep you safe, and may the road be ever... Ah, oh, that's a bit disappointing. I thought that was going to be a bit more exciting than that. Well, let's pop in here for a second. Oh, don't tell me I can't camp. Uh. Well, let's first camp. I need to gather this wood. It's going to take me absolutely ages. Okay, we've got that under wraps. These guys can collect some hide. Okay, what's that? Goblin boar rider. What the iffy or oh. oh okay, this is bad. Okay. How much food have we got? I need wood, so I'm just gonna power through a couple of turns. the bone. Right, 
right here, one more turn. 20 wood. Radio break camp. We'll go back here, drop off the resources. Where's the wood? And then we'll turn, we'll grab some more supplies. Grab some granite, because they obviously need be needing granite for construction purposes. Camp, gather wood, stone, well, stone. Yeah. Run back into town, drop off that off. Go production, construction. So what is it? What is it we've been missing? I believe we got rid of this. Yeah, tool said. Oh, smithy, technically, I should say. So we can go ancient wood, granite. to use as the catalyst. Um, Let's just stop. Uh, that's well. That's, that's actually not that important because crafting plus five. Yeah, let's do that. We'll get our best people working on it. Getting some slightly better resources. Looking at place of interest over there. Let's try and stay away from these level three enemies. I think they're probably undead and a harpy of some kind. Uh, I got to get in our way. Or a Borg, so it's basically an undead. And four others. So, so, take a look at these creatures of the other world. Are you sorry you want to face us? We can try doing it. We have quite a lot of people in the party that are talky. Billy, a Borge, and Ravenous Crows. Oh, I thought we had people in the party that were talking. Uh, Burge. What, what, the, what is it? Is it like a plant man? Okay. Put these two down because they have quite high attack and defense values. Really, it's going to be a pain. Oh, that's not good. I might just do overload tactic routine because the crows don't have anything. The 
just throw people down. This would have been a nasty fight if we tried to take it normally. Uh, just a good counter tactic. Get rid of the crow. Get closer, get closer, get closer, get closer, get closer. Let's see what's going to happen. And we win. Sort Pike. Good riddance. We scared them off. Is this short pike any good? Seven damage piercing. Actually, that might be useful. It will reduce her attack, but it will do piercing damage so we can jump her to the front of the queue and start stabbing at stuff. So I've been meaning to get someone that has a, a piercing weapon. Place to see. Let's go up there. You come across a hidden stash, and it looks like whatever is inside may still be intact. Take the you stuff. have your loot safe in hand, but you can hear something approaching fast. Perhaps a guardian of the stash. You have time to run, but maybe the creature hides more goodies. Level 3 fight. Stay and fight. You stand your ground and face the approaching enemy. The air seems to get thicker, the ground feels shaky, and a sudden raising of the fog makes it hard to see who your assailant is. You feel a hint of dread in your heart. Duh. Fight it anyway. Four wild boar. Not massively terrible. Resuffle. Uh, could have been better. Put out Maslev. Get closer. Stab him up a bit. And then we'll throw down... Who should we actually throw down? Hmm. He's actually got a surprisingly good amount of shielding. First actions. Probably be a good idea to put Jason down. First action, get him to the front. Anyway else, when everybody else we put down needs to have a lot of defense. Get closer. Shield him. Get closer. Get closer. Hopefully we'll be able to kill most of these people off. There we go. It turns out these were simply some boars defending their turf, or searching for prey. Still, you search their remains hoping to gather some extra resources. Gather all we could. Mm, got some nice stuff. Not bad. Don't burn that. I'll eat the other stuff, I don't mind. Yeah. Running around near my home. What the? Ooh, that's bad. That's really bad. Nest tower. I should probably get deal with that as well. Because it's probably spawning stuff out. Place to see. Let's go here for a second. What's this? Find the thatched cottages, and just as your scout said, the little settlement is long abandoned. Instead of people, a nest of giant spiders has taken residence there. Come up with a tactical plan. 
hopefully this will work. If not, uh, if not, we're going to be in for some deep, deep trouble. Okay, let's put that person out. And then our next highest damage dealer is him. Okay. Get closer. She's level 10, so none of this stuff is going to work. They're not particularly fantastic. I need to, to burn some cards. Okay. First action. Get closer. We'll just put everybody down. If it gets to the stage where we need these people, it's going to be in a bad way. Oh boy. You spot an intricate system of spider webs spread throughout this area. You plan a diversion to draw out the main body of the spiders. A small team can sneak in and steal as much as they can before the nest realizes anything. Or you can attack the small group of spiders left. Attack weakened spiders. Fight one spider queen. Yep, yeah, we're fine with that. Uh, yep. Yeah. That's okay. Probably throw down our heaviest two hand that we have, which is going to be this guy. Do like the artwork, followed by him. No, that's not good. Well, let's just stab the Spider Queen. And then we'll put Jane down. Give her first action, send her to the front. It is nice having capable people once again. We'll just start buffing her loads of health. Since I'm pretty sure. That we can take whoever they have left. Yep. Just keep shielding her. Gotta put almost enough shielding on her to give her like twice as much health. Let's see what we can do. There we go. You have defeated the spiders. You find many good building materials from the cottages and a good amount of fresh spider silk as well. Great tick stuff. I wonder what this option is. Now, can we get away before those guys turn up? That's the question. You are set upon by a small group of rugged looking dwarves. Their faces are scarred, as if they cut off their beards with their axes, which they probably did. Their clothes are worn and their eyes hungry. Only their weapons remain in perfect condition, the last remnant of their bygone heritage. One steps up and spits before speaking. Money, or we'll kick your teeth in now. Can't we talk like this? Dwarf spits and grunts at you. Less talking, more doing, my hammy friends. I got little patience for talk. Let's try that. Let's try and bribe them with food. No, that's not great. Who's the best person that we have? Probably send him up. And then her. I mean, they're not great. Ugh, I'm going to have a shield ally. Because they'll kill him if I'm not careful.
throw him down. Do we have anybody that's higher? Uh, support ally. Boost his damage. Uh, they popped one of my people. Everyone else who's left is. Let's just boost stuff. Let's get up to 11 on that guy. We've won. Your men stand firm, showing off their strength and confidence. The dwarf leader listens to you, then speaks. Today you shall eat well and sit with us by the fire, so that all of us may see tomorrow. The dwarves look relieved at their leader's words. So we all got bonus to speeching. We lose a little bit of food. We share a meal by the fire and exchange stories of woe and victory. One of the bandits stands up and speaks. So be it. We shared bread. We spoke by the fire. We leave as friends. May we meet again. The dwarves leave. Right here. And that's where we're going to end it today, ladies and gentlemen. I've been Cornish Knight. If you've liked, please press the like button. If you wish to subscribe, please press the subscription button. If you'd like to see um, one episode of this a day, just so we can like plow on through and get this finished, um, please leave a comment in the comment section. You can look me up on Facebook and Twitter at Dunce Provided. And I shall see you all next time. Goodbye.